Okay, it's a small puncture. When Reginald Wilkerson shared his story with 12 News last month. They've slashed your tires yep, and then tire. they've, they've bashed in that window yeah, there. Yeah, bashed in this window here. We actually had to buy this window again, so. He and his fiance, Tanathy Addison, had already been victims of a vandal and racist more than once. In a recent note left in a plastic bag, the racist wrote, You thought I was playing about driving and speeding in my neighborhood, you piece of expletive N-word. Get the expletive back to the N-word north side where you belong before I put sand in your gas tank, N-word. It just kind of sucks to have somebody in the neighborhood that just don't know who I am at all and don't know right. because of my skin tone, you just you don't want me in the neighborhood. What the couple did not know is the FBI, according to court records, was already watching. Records show agents had surveillance set up and cameras captured a person slashing their tires and leaving that racist note. Agents got a better look from other cameras in the area and connected the suspect vehicle to William McDonald, whom records show called West Dallas police 26 times in November and December to complain about speeding. On Tuesday, federal agents executed a search warrant at McDonald's home and car where they found tools, a bat, and a handwritten note in a similar plastic bag with the message, this is what happens, expletive, I'm watching all you expletive monkeys around here. Get the expletive back to the north side ghetto where you belong. According to the feds, there were as many as nine victims, six of whom moved out of West Dallas out of fear. And in an interview with federal agents, McDonald reportedly asked them, so I'm getting arrested for a note that you found in my car? The feds say McDonald constantly complained about speeding, yet has convictions on his own record for speeding, vandalism, and hit and run. McDonald is in federal custody right now. Feds do not provide mugshots, so we are working on getting a recent image of William McDonald, the 44-year-old suspected in this federal hate crime, hate crime investigation. Derek, thank you.